So I'm going to just do a quick preview of what I have right here. The different foods I eat. I open that up over there, that big old jackfruit. Let me give an explanation of that. Got the root vegetables, the green bananas, which actually are not bananas or plantains, green mangoes, all the different root vegetables, including celery. I'll go over those. Nopales, the corners there got a little frozen, but they still work. I freeze them up and then cook them like steaks, uh, little cactus steaks, uh, which is not very typical. Well, it actually it is in Mexico, but not typical out here in the U.S. And I'll show how I do that. Uh, right, we got ginger, cabbage, the new lettuce, because of all the nano on the greens and just all the big, broad, leafy vegetables, just collecting a ton of metal. So I try to get everything that I can peel. And I got the aloe vera which I do drink that direct. I'll be making a video showing how I feel that. and I'll, I'll drink a whole leaf at once and how you can actually um, cut that up and make it in beverages so that your kids are also getting the benefit. How this jackfruit is a delicious fruit. I pre-pulled this one out because it's a little hard to get out. This thing, I kid you not, tastes like a freaking gummy bear. It's delicious. And these fibers right here, you can pull these all out and you put them in a storage bag, um, stick them in the refrigerator, use them for later. I'm going to try freezing it, see how that works. It's actually new to me. Uh, somebody told me about the amino acid content in it. Oop, dropped a mango there. Um, so I'm going to start checking that out. I've worked with it before, but I didn't know about the amino acid content. So I'm going to be doing more research and investigation about that. But anyways, I use those fibers, add it to my meat and it makes a cup of chicken into like eight cups of chicken so it's pretty it picks it's pretty amazing it picks up any other flavors you're cooking with and it just gives it a really delicious uh, flavor and it makes more food when you have uh less less tools to work with or less meat to work with it just um amplifies the quantity so you can make more tacos is what i'm saying even though i don't need any more tortillas but just a just a saying Ah, uh, look what fell. So what ended up falling was the mozzarella cheese. Um, actually, I left some stuff in the refrigerator I'm going to have to take out and show you in a minute. The properties of garlic and onion are incredible. Along with what I was showing over here, the plantains and the green mangoes. What these guys do is they make something called... Well, there's a lot of things to do, but I'm just showing these as an example. Uh, they're called prebiotics. So it's like giving food to the bacteria in your gut that needs resources to make, fabricate more B vitamins. We'll go over uh, making B vitamins and repairing the gut, why that's so important. Grapefruit. Grapefruit is not something people typically eat regularly. It's something I have at least maybe three times a week. And it is extraordinary. I've seen it do some amazing stuff. And I'll be going over uh, the before and after effects of grapefruit. When people have a cold and people who are on grain-free diets and can't lose any weight, eat some grapefruit, start dropping, uh, start dropping that weight really quick. Um, we'll be talking about that. Vinegar. Oh, I can't seem to bring down the light here. Vinegar is very important to be part of the diet. A lot of people stay away from vinegar because they're worried about acid, but we'll be, I'll be going over that. Sea salt instead of table salt. Table salt's unbalanced. A lot of table salts have uh, fluoride and they've got different components in it. Just stick to a basic sea salt. Toss table salt because it's too compromised. It's, and like I said, it has too many compromises in it. It's unstable, unbalanced. Body doesn't like it. And that's why doctors say stay away from salt. But, or sodium, they say stay away from sodium. Um, so you're usually saying sodium chloride because it's not balanced with potassium. The ratios are wrong. And so the body can't extract it, creates a problem, imbalances. But sea salt's balanced. It's made the way it's supposed to be by nature. And the body works with all of the um, over 70 minerals that are in uh, sea salt. Fats. Oh, well, let me, before I go over to fats, I'm gonna go over here to spices. Spices and essential oils because I got spices to work with to make sure that food tastes good. People make food and if it's not spiced right, it just does not taste good. And so people go to commercial foods because they don't know how to make food.
foods at home taste amazing. So I'm gonna show how to work with different spices like uh, marjoram, thyme, oregano, garlic. And over here, I'm just gonna jump over here, is the essential oils. We have rosemary, we got cinnamon, we got peppermint, and there's more, but I, I'm in a house where it's on my house and I had to go get what I could find at the store. And we're talking about times of the coronavirus. There's a lot of things I couldn't find. Um, so I'm working with what I got. They all have properties. Uh, when I'm, I'm speaking about spices, they have incredible healing power, these herbs. And when you get them in an essential oil, we're talking about full max. So uh, potential. So if we have a car and we're driving it got good on gas and it can go fast and then you can step on the gas with a little nos boom you get you get a whole lot more um of what you're looking for and so the body needs a lot of critical help right now and cooking with essential oils is uh something that we're not used to doing and i learned from uh, tony pateresco he has a lot of information on on what they do also going back to the essential oils they there's a certain uh, family of essential oils, or I should say of herbs put into essential oils from the peppermint family that are estrogen blockers. we got a ton of estrogen going on, a lot of man boobs, a lot of women with distorted backsides. We could say they're big backsides, but they're where they're in a distorted proportions. It's the excess of estrogens. People problem with the thyroid also, excess of estrogens. Uh, there's a lot of information out there on that, but I'm just giving an example of why I use them. Fats. So we have, uh, I have pork lard, which a lot of people are not used to using because they think it's so bad for you. What's well, even worse for you? Because I'm going to, I'm going to say it like this. Everything in the world is toxic in our food consumption, in our water. There's nothing that's pristine anymore. And if somebody thinks that they got something more pristine than others, that, that is fine, and, and, and they might be correct that something might be a lot less toxic than somebody else's. Um, we that they're growing it themselves indoors compared to getting it commercially. Got it. But everything carries some form of toxic component, be it processed or not processed. Looking at it from an aspect of the metals that are falling, uh, that are all around our atmosphere, on our plants, falling on the feed for the animals, going into our bodies. So it's a component we haven't looked at, and that's the uh, metallics. And like I said, I just keep it real basic, just calling them heavy metals, going into the body. And and it's the importance of getting them out. So those heavy metals, those nanoparticles, hate fats, uh, hate good fats, and they hate salts and mineral salts, which we got ascorbic acid, zinc citrate, ascorbic acid, um, I think I said this one twice, uh, borax, we got magnesium sulfate, sodium chloride, selenium, and we got iodine. There are many more, uh, minerals that I ordered, chlorophyll and other minerals, but they're not here yet. It's a time of, um, right now it's March, March 25th, 2020. And so it's hard to find things online right now. And they're taking a lot longer than two days to get to you. So I'm still waiting for the rest of my minerals to be able to make a mineral complex that I've talked about before on Tony's, uh, with Tony Pateresco and um, my other uh, videos. But I'll be putting them in a dropper and showing how I make them for other people to um, use if they choose to. Over here, I put this container here so that I wouldn't forget. Uh, but it's about getting the kefir grains, getting the kefir bacteria, so that you can make a kefir water, kefir vinegar, and have it reproduce itself over and over again. Well, you don't have to go to the store to get a vinegar. You're always making your own. Kefir water is made quicker um, with the next day, and it's something that you can put into your lemonade for your kids, and they get all these beneficial, um, over 70 bacteria that are beneficial to the gut so that all the brain processes can work. And I'll talk about what those brain processes are, but they're the B vitamins that's, uh, that these bacteria is producing the gut. And then right here is something called nutritional yeast. I actually learned that one from vegans, which is great. Um, my lighting's really bad. But this nutritional yeast, it's a cheesy flavor. It is also all the B vitamins. And I'll show you in the back. 
Let me do my best right here. The B vitamins. Let me see. That comes in. Really sorry about the video. My phone went out and I'm trying to work with what I got. Um, but you can see what's inside as far as the uh, B complexes. And so this yeast, people are not used to cooking with it. I know I wasn't. And I got a bunch of stories also how it's helped other people. I know I feel good, but you got to almost be super broken down to notice that these things have a serious beneficial effect, an immediate effect. So I know somebody who had a bipolar and as long as they're taking their minerals they're fantastic these mineral complexes that i'm talking about and then when i introduced them to um the nutritional yeast in one week they said they took it to that they fell to another level that they never had that much peace and calmness uh feeling ever ever so talking about people who have bipolar like since they were kids and it's just the imbalance in the intestines everything is the imbalance in the intestines because from that factory Send that makes the B vitamins and goes up to the brain, sending signals anyways, up to the brain to make all the serotonins and all the dopamines and all the processes that we expect our body to do, but all the functions are, are broken down in the body. <clears throat> and so getting these, I'm gonna go over the cheese and um, some yogurts that I forgot to bring out, but just to make a long story short, or not to go get it, but just to show you that mozzarella, part skim milk, has been the only cheese that I've been able to eat that is uh, low on the lectins. The butter, I can't eat butter, but I can melt this, turn it into ghee, and then the lectins become lower, and then I can eat the, uh, the butter. So I'm going to show how you can make your own ghee. You can look that up, how to make your own ghee out of butter. I always look for butter that's RBST free, and it's bovine uh, growth hormone. What they're saying is that they don't use the uh, growth hormones in their cows. Uh, I use, a, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it out. I'm going to bring out the uh, goat cheese and the yogurt, the goat cheese, the, what is it? Goat milk yogurt is what it's called because a lot of people are not used to using that, but I can turn that thing into something amazing. I'm going to show people how to make your own horseradish cream, your sour cream, your cream cheese. Um, yogurt ice cream pops with um, with the yogurt now you can mix a bunch of different stuff and I'm, I'm going to be cooking with all these things and showing people how how you can make a lot of meals spectacular tasting meals with these things and then over here this right here is a anti nano bucket and so this bucket right here has a connection has a power cord from a laptop computer so sorry about the videotaping. It's the best I can do. Connects to the wall. Runs charge. In that charge, you got 80 coils, approximately 80, uh, 80 rounds of 12-gauge uh, copper uh, insulated wire around this bucket. And what it does is it sends a pulsing charge and in the uh, when it's connected. And that pulse, it goes boom. Boom. So it's turning off and on and that switch of turning off and on creates a pulse and it pulls the heavy metals out of the body through an electrolyte uh, solution, which is water, uh, water, vinegar, sea salt or any salt. And then you got this electrolyte solution that connects the water in the bucket to the water in the cells and then boom starts pulling out all these particles and materials from the body and you can see your own so it's not something that you know that you have to it's one of those things you have to see to believe so you got to do it yourself i'll be putting a link on how to make that bucket from tony Pateresco. you can feel the difference you can feel the uh relaxation in the body just by getting this debris out that we've been uh, loaded up with for a very long time. And the only reason we haven't recognized that we've been loaded with all these heavy metals is because we haven't had something to pull it out where we can recognize it. And that 5G system is what's been, that 5G, um, what is it, from the cell towers has not a microwave frequency, but it's called a millimeter wave. So it's not a microwave, it's a millimeter wave, it means it, goes in, penetrates the skin, goes into the cell and causes an effect. So for me, it was causing this metal to come out like a magnet through my skin and was tearing me up. 
And so I had to learn all of these things, how to reorganize my diet, drop these lectins as much as possible to little to none so that the mechanism the to the effect that I was getting from a microwave environment, my, my skin's never been the same. I'm, I'm not the same anymore. I Meaning I'm, I'm very sensitive now to electromagnetic frequencies in the environment. And it's not a debate if it's real or not. All you have to know is that there's microwaves coming from these cell towers to know that we're in it. So definitely not a debate. And if you see the pictures and you see my story um, on Facebook, you'll see it under Snafu Free. You'll see the wires um, that these things are. They're little metallic wires that you can see that have sent under a microscope that are these responsive metallic fibers are called nanoparticles. And it's uh, biology and technology in one. And it's how they got the new science out into the world. And I'll also be posting what nanoparticles are, uh, a little short documentary, and how they talk about how they put it in your food and how it's in your clothing and everything. And they don't talk about how it's in the environment. They just say how they put it in your food. So that's, that's enough right there. And then also a, sign, uh, a panel of scientists talking about it, talking about putting nanoparticles in everything, everything, I mean everything, and talking about it from a scientific standpoint and a, I guess you'd say a corporate standpoint for those people who need something on a more professional level because they don't believe what they're hearing on YouTube so they can get it from a panel, from an expert panel. But this stuff is real and changing the diet helping the body keep up its immune system absolutely necessary bringing it up with amino acids uh what they come from like i said this is my bread i haven't gone over what this is this is amaranth a lot of people gosh i'm jumping from one thing to the next but um people stay away from grains i get it grass cereal grains dangerous super high in lectins i stay away from legumes also all of them are high in lectins um, but amaranth I've been working with before I had this situation going on with, um, with this tech or where I, I could identify it. And amaranth has an extraordinary profile that it's not even in the same category as this grass cereal grains. And so I'm going to do a whole video just on what's up with amaranth and how I've seen it, literally seen it reverse people's problems with their health and it maintains my muscle without this i don't have the same muscle structure um, without amaranth i don't have the energy and the endurance um, and the loss of appetite i mean I, I can go a whole day with just eating a meal and be fine as long as i have amaranth so i'm going to go over what this looks like this right here just get an idea the tiny little tiny tiny little seeds i got a really bad camera i'm really sorry about this tiny little seeds right they're trying to get in there and these tiny little seeds are the amaranth seeds and then when they get popped they heated they become this right here let me try to get it out of this area so you can see this so this would be popped amaranth right here right then it becomes bioavailable super nutritious right and then this seed right here is what it looks like got a better picture right there right and so you can't eat these seeds raw and a lot of seeds people eat raw, like sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, all the different types of seeds. You just, you know, pop them in your mouth. And these you can't. You have to um, cook them. And when you do, they become bioavailable. When you don't, when they're raw, they have anti-nutrients in them. And we're eating a lot of seeds and nuts uh, uh, that are anti-nutrient. We even, we're even eating vegetables that are they actually take away nutrients from the body. And we haven't recognized that's going on um, because our mainstream tell us to eat as much as we can uh, and we're not paying attention to why so this is amaranth flour once the cereal the amaranth cereal or the amaranth seeds been popped once it's been popped then it's ground and it turns into a flour and so this is what I work with to make my breads to make to thicken anything I stick only with amaranth i don't I don't mix it with anything else nothing else it is perfect um in the way it's been made 
uh, by nature. And it has an incredible story from the time of the Aztecs and how that was removed from their culture. And so over here we got the essential oils. And like I said, I'm going to be making videos about everything individually so I can go into more detail. This is a rosemary essential oil I brought from Mexico. I'm in San Diego right now. Gosh, it's so bad right here. This camera is no bueno. This right here, even though you can't see it, it's um, cinnamon essential oil and you got peppermint essential oil. And so cooking with these essential oils help the body with uh, like tools. You know, if you got a crew and you expect them to work, expect to give them some tools. We don't give our body tools. In fact, we take away tools with things that are anti-nutrient and things that are depleting the body or causing the body to go into a um, defense mode where we drop the immune system. And then we expect work to come out, you know, from from them. We take tools away, and then we still expect it to work, the body to work. So we got to reverse things and look at things differently. I've had to stop drinking coffee because coffee has is makes my scars completely dark and i'll explain what that means my body's going through a histamine situation and it doesn't mean that i have a problem and nobody else has a problem it just means that my scars have it's like a window to identify what my blood's going through and i would not know anything about um, the lectins and vegetables and other things if i didn't have this situation going on i will give a little detailed story about what i mean by that i had perfect skin uh i'll go into it later it's a big deal it's a long long story but it's a good one and it explains how i figured not figured this out but how i got to the point where i'm at right now uh changing my diet so because i don't drink coffee anymore it like i said makes i identified that it makes my scars really dark histamines are running everywhere it brings down the um defense system the immune system i went to black tea green tea it can have honey or it can have uh, maple syrup. I don't have any maple syrup here with me now. These are two different stevias that I found here in the U.S. This is a stevia I got from Mexico. I know where I got this, and this is um, the 98% pure Rev A. This right here is from Sprouts. This right here is from Trader Joe's. I don't know how much Rev-A they have. That matters, um, it just to make sure that there's no other substances in it. So if you wanna look for a good stevia, because a lot of stevias have, have other substances in it, and you think you're getting stevia, but you're getting all kinds of other stuff, like artificial sweeteners that, are, that you're trying to stay away from, and a lot of people don't have that information of the other pseudo names that these artificial sweeteners have. So when you go online, like to Amazon, look up, um, Reb, 100 or 98% Reb A, and that's how you can know that you're just getting pure stevia, stevia extract. Or you can call these companies right here and ask them how much Reb A is in their product. Yeah, and if they, and they say they don't have any other substance in here, that's why I picked these. Um, but I can definitely taste that there's a difference between all of them, and it must be the, um, the amount of, the percentage of Reb A. And Reb A is what they extract, the sweet part of the, the stevia leaf and that's what I use for my sweetener and that's how I get to a zero sugar level in my body I'm not having any honey I'm not having anything that's sweet no fruit that's sweet when I'm trying to do a very deep clean detox and that's what I recommend people do for about two months to just let their body get all the sugar out that they've had in there for so many years but this, I'm showing everything, all the tools that I use to eat on a regular lifestyle diet. But for two months, you'd want to do something different. <clears throat> I, I'll talk about that and go into that on another video. It would just be these things without the sugar. Anything here that has something sweet in it, except for the Reve, the Stevia. That, that's how I would go for two months and let the body just break down its own um, sugar levels. And then do some detoxing with, um, a lot of people don't like it, but I did it and it was amazing. And it was using um, essential oil, pine, which they call pine spirits, which they call um, turpentine, they call it all kinds of things. You can find a lot of stuff on that online, but that thing gets rid of everything. I think I got rid of waste that I had in there since the eighties that I didn't even know. So that belly, that belly that's way up in the cavity, up in the chest cavity, 
boom, that just shrinks down and you just like, where'd that go? It went out. But it takes something like as strong as the essential oil pine to get it out. Um, and you can find videos on that. I'm going to do eventually a video on that. But everything I'm talking about is just so that you can go find more information about it. And so these foods are low in lectins. Yeah. Low to no lectins. Low to no. Um, but the, what, they, what I'm talking about this is that lectins, most of them are GMO'd. And it just, geo mode or not, right now we can't afford to have our guard down with our immune system. So it's about keeping it up and nobody's paid attention to the lectin content. Everybody's looking at glyphosate, everybody's looking at gluten, everybody's looking at everything. But when you take care of the lectin, you take care of the gluten, you take care of the glyphosate, you take care of all of it. I mean, we're never going to not eat glyphosate because I, I swear every time you can be talking and it's in the air. It's just everywhere. So it's falling on everything. But when it's sprayed on your genetic high lectin, uh, GMO, glyphosate filled food, you're getting an extra dose. That's all it means. So right here are all the different sweet potatoes. I cut them so that you can see the, the inside colors. They're very different. The color on the outsides are different also. So these kind of look the same in this camera, but they're different. Um, where's the other one? Had another, but this is yucca. This is cut. I opened that one up so you can see the yucca. So I work with all these potatoes as if they were, um, a regular potato. And I use garlic and, and onions and salt and pepper. And people are not used to eating sweet potatoes like that because they, they, they're used to like cinnamon and butter and they think it's always sweet. But if you can balance it out, it gives it almost like a, um, sweet and salty potato delicious literally delicious this right here is a um, horseradish right horseradish root and so in that goat 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 milk yogurt can make a horseradish cream that's absolutely delicious and the reason i got to use goat milk is because of the um the lectins in the regular milk and i'll talk about milk and and what a1 casein is and a2 casein is and and the avenue of looking at what the difference is between the milks and why milk from a ranch from a cow doesn't get that raw milk doesn't cause the same effect as milk that comes from uh the store two completely different milks they don't say why but look up a1 a2 and you'll understand what those proteins are how a2 takes care of a1 but when the milk is boiled a2 is gone a2 can't back up uh, the effects of A1, and that's it. We're all drinking A1 milk, and it's causing all kinds of problems, and it's the lectins in it that are causing uh, a whole lot of problems in the body. So you start looking at milk through A1 and A2, and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, this right here, celery root. People are not used to using that. Love it. Ever since I had to turn to roots, love this flavor. You can make waters out of this, beverage out of it. You can cook with it, fry with it just gives things an unbelievable uh, flavor. This right here is a yucca root. So it looks like a little potato. Yuccas can be massively big. Yuccas can be as big as this guy right here, and this guy's bigger than a football. So you can get little little mini yuccas if that's all that's available. I wanted to get a big one, but they didn't have big ones available. I had to get the little ones. A big, massive football-sized yuccas. And so all of these I'm going to be cooking with, so you can see how I... um. Well, how I get by, you know, in, in, if you can get by, you know, life is sad if you can't make a pancake. So I'm going to show how I make a pancake out of a, a green plantain. I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So you can see how I, we can still <laughs> have a pancake. Life ain't that sad when you could have a freaking pancake. Um, so I can make it with or without egg. I can make it with or without egg and milk. Uh, you can also do it with coconut milk. Uh, they're delicious. And so just step by step, just trying to give some information of what all this stuff is about. I'm missing the oils like the olive oil and the avocado oil and the coconut oil. But those are available too um, for it to be part of uh, the good fats. You know, the avocado I'm missing on here. I didn't put the stuff that we're used to because everybody's used to it, right? And everybody has an idea. Uh, I'm going to send 
put a link where you can see one of these uh, lectin-free diets, which there's no such thing as a lectin-free diet. It's just a lower lectin than other uh, high lectin foods because everything has some sort of lectin in it when it comes to uh, the foods that we're talking about. So it's pretty much staying away from cereal grass grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. And that's what this is really about. And so it's reducing it down to foods that uplift, ferment, uh, creating B vitamins in, in the gut, fats. A lot of people don't know, but fats grab a hold of the nutrients, the information that's in the nutrients. Inf nutrients is information, meaning that it has the properties to do a job and it goes into the cell right and then the cell goes to work and then it sends information to the next guy like a relay right we have this electrical circuitry in our body that runs like a relay but it needs the first step and that is the information from the nutritional sources that all of these different foods have um, I don't even know if I went into aloe vera but I'm gonna show how I drink a whole leaf of aloe vera uh, in, in once you know, and, and the properties and the benefits of this, you can look up and I'll talk about what I've seen that is not reported. Um, go on with uh, aloe vera, why I make it part of my uh, staple food diet. But going back to fats, they will take the information that's in the essential oils when you put them in there. And it, I'm just giving an example. And it goes to the cell, cleans up the cell, deoxidizes the cell. The cell's full of, of oxidation from the nasty vegetable oils, the soybean oils, the corn oils, all of these, uh, the hydrogenated vegetable oil, you know, Crisco, lards, these things have been introduced and the old fats have been removed and they were considered bad and made you fat. But what's actually happening is these GMO high lectin oils that I just named right now genetically modified what once was isn't anymore becomes something else and that information in that tainted oil I'm going to call which is soybean canola um, corn I mean can keep going on but I'm just trying to give a general idea of the standard commercial oil goes right into the cell with bad information puts rust all over the cell and then we get older we get rustier we start breaking down we start you know all the all of our blood cells start getting cloudy and instead of being smooth like they're supposed to look up a, blood, a clean blood cell and a dirty rusty blood uh blood cell you can see it has like trash all around the the cell and the, the way they're supposed to be is supposed to be nice clean and moving around without any um rickety behavior but uh what's happening inside our body is showing a visible a visual effect on the outside of our body we've got 20 year olds that are too tired to function because of this breakdown in all of our societies around the world we're seeing this breakdown happen because of what's going on with our foods and the change to our foods and to our food system so what was once of our grandparents and our great-grandparents and how they lived is different than what we're being fed today and it was slow and it was gradual and we didn't see it coming some people did but nobody was listening but shit's so fucked up now that i think people are paying attention and so i'm gonna go back real quick just do a recap Amaranth, bread, flour, cereal, anything that, that source comes from, I use amaranth. Essential oils, there's a long list of essential oils. I'll put a link uh, to Tony Pateresco, how he worked with essential oils and how they clean up the body and the cells. Uh, stevia, look up Reb A, 98% Reb A when you're looking for your, um, for your stevia. To make sure you get a nice clean product you can choose or not choose to use um, teas instead of coffee for a while just to see how your body feels uh, for sweetener you got honey you got uh, maple syrup it's not here but you could you get the picture the brown sugar the 
starches instead of the white potatoes that are high in lectins. That's what you know what? That's what I just recognized right now. I didn't go over the vegetables. I never paid attention that there's high lectins in vegetables. I was clueless. They're called nightshades. Look up nightshades and you get an idea of what I'm talking about. I had to stop eating chilies, tomatoes, and all types of potatoes. And so I had to switch to these root vegetables to make substitute my potato, uh, my mashed potatoes, my home fried potatoes, my french fries, start using these things. And um, they taste delicious. And so the substitute doesn't feel hard, but the results in my body are fantastic. But I wouldn't reckon, I did not recognize that vegetables <clears throat> had high lectins. In fact, I thought they were only legumes and cereal grains. That's all, that's all I thought. So I thought I was staying away from them and I was fine and, and I did lose weight. But then when my skin kept getting irritated, I couldn't figure out how come I would be great. And then all of a sudden, boom, tear down in my skin. And there you go. You got the um, high lectins. And it's not just my skin or, or my sensitivity to what's going on with these uh, metallic fibers and the 5G. It's anybody's ailment in their body that they can't fix and doctors can't seem to fix and can't repair and people don't know why they can't get rid of their arthritis and why they can't get rid of Hashimoto's try going on this uh low lectin consumption where you're just ch paying attention to the lectins in your diet and watch things change on their own test it out for yourself see it for yourself you know let go of the the grains like if you don't want to do the amaranth, don't do the amaranth. Most people can't even get this amaranth. This amaranth comes from Mexico. I've never seen this amaranth here in the U.S. Somebody please post and tell me if you can find this here. I brought this um, from Mexico. I'm in San Diego right now because I got to eat. And um, oh, where was I? So much information. Um, just trying to give an overview of removing the high lectins all takes care of the GMO glyphosate and the GMO, um, what is it? GMO lectins, GMO glyphosate, it takes care of your gluten. So all of those things get taken care of, but we haven't paid attention to the high lectin, you know, in the vegetables. Uh, this grapefruit, I'm gonna go back, tell you again, it's grapefruit, big difference. I saw somebody had a cough, couldn't get rid of the cough, gave them one grapefruit, stopped coughing, unbelievable. Um, I, me and my partner, um, my business partner went on the same, um, food consumption, uh, schedule routine. He could not, he felt better. He did better. He slept better. He kept telling me all the results of why he was better, but his body wasn't losing body mass. And so all his internals were getting better, but the exterior was not break, you know, getting rid of the fat because the organs can take up to three years to get better, repair themselves before we start seeing an outside repair. So what the grapefruit did is he added the grapefruit and one week body mass started shrinking. It was like unreal. Like it was let his body was able to finally start letting go of all of that, uh, toxins in the fat. So this thing is amazing. Is amazing. Um, and, and you won't find that you, you just find it generally on the internet that it's good for weight loss, but we got to compare. So people who are with experiences, we got to compare with the experiences. So people who are trying to lose oh, body mass and go on this grain free diet and they feel better, but they can't get rid of that mass. We're talking about mold. We're talking about yeast overload. We're talking about a bunch of things that also got to get broken down. Grapefruit helps a huge benefit. And like I said, that uh, turpentine, uh, some people are scared of that, but I'm a testimony that I did it. And I lost huge masses amount in my uh, upper belly area that I could never get rid of. So it stuff does work. Nobody likes talking about parasites, but everybody got some kind of level of parasites. Everybody, especially with this uh, diet that we got going around the world. Yeah. And so you can be skinny or fat, short, tall, Everybody has some level of mold, some level of yeast overgrowth, some level of something that they don't want to call a parasite, but you know what? Let's knock that out too. So if there's anything in there, that um, pine essential oil is something extraordinary. And you can look that up. You know, I'm going to put a link on there. I can't remember the name of the doctor who, who works with that and specializes in that. And she's a Harvard grad too. 
Uh, I think I pretty much went over everything. The fats, why I use the, the good fats and not the uh, toxic fats, because it goes right to the cell. Got to give them good nutrients and information. Or I should say better nutrients and better information, because everything has some te- level of toxicity in it. Um, the minerals, what they end up doing is they end up boosting up support for the cell, gen- getting that generator going, getting it moving, because all of our cells have something called mitochondria, and it's like a generator is waiting to go, and it's like, ah, ah, ah. You know, and then when you give it all the minerals that it needs, it's like, vroom, it takes off. And you start feeling that level of energy, and it pops off this nanotech. I'll show in a video how you can uh, do it for yourself on your own skin. Get some of these minerals uh, with a little water solution. Put on your skin. Put some baking soda on top to get off. And what ends up happening is you take off that baking soda with those minerals. Put it in a white bowl so that you can see uh, the next day all these black little fibers that you didn't see there before. Right? And then our skin is just collecting them. Uh, it's in the environment. It's everywhere. But that's happening in the body with the minerals. <clears throat> so mineral salts knock off, uh, pop off this uh, nanotech. And then this bucket right here pulls it right out of the body. So what's being popped off gets degaussed, means the responsive material, which are these fibers, erases programming. And not only does it erase the programming, it pulls it out of the body and I'm going to show how I make a magnetic belt that I put around this like I said I'm not I'm not in my home uh, I'm not in Mexico I'm not at my house where I have all my stuff I had to get this stuff uh, just recently to store up and for myself because uh, it's the coronavirus situation is going on and keeping up immunity is the most important thing and this is the way I do it Um, I know everybody has their own way and their own perspective. This is mine. I'm sharing it with you. And this is Truth and Integrity Warrior, Michelle Angelique. Everybody, be well.